Welcome back everybody. I'm back with a really interesting video and I'm gonna go on and just put this out there. I don't really fully understand what this means but it has to do with the link to the past and that's my favorite Zelda game. So I think this is super neat. So basically what has happened is a programmer named SNES Rev has reverse engineered a link to the past meaning that it can now be ported to the PC which I'm going to show you how to do and essentially any other consoles like in the article right here it brings out it could be ported to the 32X or the Sony PlayStation or any of the other consoles the game also includes a number of new features that weren't present in the original for example the game supports pixel shaders um, which makes the visuals look even better it has support for widescreen aspect ratios um, let's see there's a higher quality world map uh, the map is much more detailed just there's so much that actually went into this and that's why I think it is super neat now that I've talked a little bit about this I'm going to show you actually how to get this running on the PC and some of the tweaks you can do to make it look and play better so here we go so the majority of everything you need will be included in both the description and on the github and just to make things easier, I made a folder on my desktop and I named it ALTTP. And that's where I'm going to put everything. So back in the GitHub, go up here to the top to the green code button, click it and then click download zip and put it in the folder on your desktop or wherever you're installing it and extract it there. Once you've extracted it, go into that folder and download the TCC compiler and the SDL2 and put those in the third party folder and extract those. Next you'll need to download either Python or Windows Visual Studio. I'm using Python. So once you've installed Python it'll come up with a dialog box during the installer I think with two check boxes. Check both those boxes to make sure that everything installs correctly and runs smoothly. Then open up your command prompt and you're going to want to upgrade the pip and install pillow and pymal. So at the command prompt type in this command right here python space dash m space pip space install space dash dash upgrade space pip space pillow space p y y a m l and then press enter let it finish then you can close the command prompt now the next thing you'll need I can't provide because you're going to need a ROM of a link to the past. So you need to find that by any means necessary. And once you find it, you have to rename it to lowercase Zelda3.sfc and then put that in your Zelda3 master folder and put it in the folder that says tables. Make sure it's in there. Now go back to your command prompt and in command prompt you're going to want to navigate to that folder the tables folder so you'll want to type in CD and what I did is I went to the folder and I click up here in the address bar and I copy the path and paste it into command prompt and press enter next you'll need to type in Python space extract underscore resources dot py and hit enter and let it finish then you'll need to type in python space compile underscore resources dot py and hit enter and you can close the command prompt. Now, back in the Zelda3-master folder, you will see a program that says run underscore with underscore tcc dot bat. You'll see this batch file. Click that and the game will launch. 
then once it's launched, you'll also notice a Zelda3.exe. This is an executable. This is the actual game. From here on, you'll click this to run the game. But if you want to use some of the tweaks and features that are actually included, you need to go back to your Zelda3-master folder and click the Zelda3.ini folder. This is where you can tweak the game as much as you want. As you can see, it supports uh, different aspect ratios. There's 16 by 9, 16 by 10, or 18 by 9. Um, some of this I don't really understand what it does, so I've not touched it. But you can change the full screen mode. And normally in things like this, if there's a zero, that means no or off. And if you put a one, that means yes or on. So if you see one, except for this stuff right here, this is the different um, full screen sizes but I have one for desktop full screen. So when I launch the game, it'll go full screen. The window scale is one, that's 100. But like with this, use an optimized shader. I have a one, that would mean on. So here's the things that I have set, but again, you can go through here and you can change as much as you want. So I have the, the ratio as 16 by 10, the window size is auto, full screen, desktop full screen, um, 100% window scale. Um, and this is an optimized version of the game, but it is more buggy, so I may actually turn that off, but I don't know. Um, the world map is a higher resolution. Um, it doesn't ignore the aspect ratio, so it keeps it the same. Let's see, this allows you to have more sprites on the screen. This right here, I'm thinking, is if you're using a ROM hack and you want to use like a different sprite for Link, it would be this right here. Um, let's see, this is for the audio, down here is where if you want to use a um, orchestrated soundtrack, you would use these um, commands and you just point, point them to wherever you have them installed. Here's one of my favorite features, um, you can have the item switch to the L and R buttons. So instead of having to always open up the inventory, you just hit the L and R buttons and it cycles through your inventory. Um, you can turn while dashing. You can use the mirror to warp from the light world to the dark world. Um, let's see. You can turn off the low beep, the low health beep sound, which is good. There's so much you can do. Down here you can change your key bindings for a controller. So I'm using the Xbox controller, so just so I can keep the muscle memory. I changed the B, A, Y, and X buttons. Um, it has them for keyboard. Here are some cheats if you want to do that. Um, and then here is if you want to turn the volume up and down, if you want to save and load the game. There's just so much you can do with this game, installing it this way. So I'm going to launch the game. And So that's pretty much it. That's the PC port of A Link to the Past, which I think is amazing. Um, and as the article brings out, now that this has been reverse engineered, it can be ported to different consoles. There's a version for the Nintendo Switch. Again, it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, but the article brings out that there's nothing stopping someone from porting it to the Atari Jaguar or the Sega Genesis, or it can now be pretty much ported to any console. So I think that's super neat. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. If you didn't, that other button seems to work pretty well. And I'll see you all in the next one. Enjoy.